I've had the Tab S7 Plus for three days now, and I will get around to a full, very detailed review once I get the full device. By that, what I mean is I'm still waiting for the keyboard cover. It seems to be quite backordered in the UK, but it is what it is. In the meantime, I wanted to do a quick video just on pen latency, because this is something that Samsung was talking about in their Galaxy Unpacked event. They were talking about 9 milliseconds of pen latency, and I wanted to show what that's really like. So I got my Note 9 out, captured some 960 frames per second super slow-mo footage. I uh, couldn't get that to focus on a dark background. I use everything in dark mode, so this is mostly in light mode, this video, just so I could get it to focus. So capturing at 960 frames per second, it plays back at 30 frames per second, so we should be running at 1 over 32 of real-time speed. So you can see this really, really slowed down, and you've got to slow it down this much to see the gap, the, the lag in Samsung Notes, because it performs really well. Although, interestingly, the pen tool seems to perform worse than all the others. But for instance, the pencil tool comes out really nicely. It's really responsive to the naked eye. I think it looks lagless. I haven't seen anything respond this well. So that's really impressive. So Samsung Notes is very smooth, very responsive now. It's really nice to use, but I'm not sure why. Um, as you'll see in a minute, OneNote is not quite as good, but uh, Samsung Notes is looking really nice, especially in real time. Uh, that'll be helped by the 120Hz display. It looks really smooth, you'll see that. But the regular S7 has a 120Hz display as well. It has the same chipset, and yet three times the latency of this device, apparently, that's what's listed on GSM Arena. I'm not sure where that comes from, but Samsung did have an asterisk in their announcement saying that the 9 millisecond only applied to the S7 Plus, so I'm not sure why that is. I don't have an S7 to test, but it would be really interesting to see how the latency compares on that device, and more interesting still to know why there's any difference. So here's OneNote, and the latency here is not bad by any means, but you can see already that it's behind Samsung Notes. No extra brushes or pencils or any of that stuff to test here because OneNote on Android is pretty plain, although it is still a very useful app. So let's move on to the real-time clips, and here's OneNote. It works perfectly well, really, even though it's got a little bit more pen latency than Samsung Notes, or a noticeable amount more if you switch between them. But it's not really an issue. The app's pretty smooth, aside from its ink shifting issue. I'm not going to go into that. It's just about latency. You can see that it writes well, but you're not getting the full impression of it right here because I captured this at 60 frames per second and the display is 120 Hertz it refreshes at twice that rate so everything looks much better in person and it is really smooth so here's the real-time Samsung notes demo and do yourself a favor and listen to the sounds that come from this app because it's pretty cool So you can see that Samsung Notes is very responsive, sounds very nice, I think the sound effects are very soothing. PenUp has even more tools with even more sound effects, so it's very nice, although the pen latency improvement does not manifest itself in PenUp for whatever reason. But there you go, looks really nice, looks even better in real time on a 120Hz display. That's the pen latency demo, I hope you found it useful. Let me know and I'll see you next time.